of the learners today. Thank you very much. Thank you for making your time. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hussam al Deen. And in Arabic, they say, Akhir habba lalli tuhibba, which means the last one is for the one which you like. I'm not sure this is the case with Asrin for me. But uh, if the ladies in the room like this, I am satisfied uh, very well. So uh, uh, today I will give you a brief about a workshop that we usually do uh, in, um, in one or two days uh, long. So it's really a challenge to put you in the picture of what we do uh, normally. Uh, excellent. Uh, only one second more. So it, it, it goes without saying that the higher education space is really facing lots of uh, challenges in terms of technology that is coming up very quickly and very fast that we are unable to cope with. And this lifts the CIO, uh, the CTO of the uh, academic institutions at the challenge of how they meet the expectations of users and the expectations of the community, the expectations of the faculty as well. Uh, Gartner have developed a frame that uh, I very much liked and I think is a very simple, very logical that we all can use to uh, face these challenges and this is what I'm going to tell you about uh, uh, today. So the challenges, as I said, is really going very fast uh, in the higher education and the answer is no longer the same every time you ask the same question as Einstein said. So we have very, very quickly uh, challenging situations in the higher education. And this is really uh, on the uh, uh, literature. You can read it anywhere. If you scan any literature around the world, around higher education challenges and technology, you can see it very quickly and very easily. Uh, one of the things that I like very much is Michael uh, Kaur, the uh, director of uh, Arizona State University, uh, in his speech uh, or talk in uh, the um, uh, re renovating uh, or reinventing our universities in the 21st century, he said we need to change the culture from being focused on uh, the faculty to being focused on the students and student success. Um, and, and the technologies is very, very well changing. If you look at this diagram, I'm not sure you can see it well, but if you see these uh, lines, uh, that is uh, linking the emerging education and the higher education over 10 years. You see that some of them were on top uh, in the first year of 2001. They become down in the second year and then they become again on top and then back to the middle and so on. So these lines shows how these challenges that are listed by EDUCOs uh, uh, are really changing over years. So that's what I'm saying. It is really, and it is very difficult to uh, predict uh, the, uh, the future uh, with the current uh, quick uh, speed of the technology changes. Uh, so the way we, 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 uh, we can face this is by using a, a methodology called scenario-based uh, planning. And in, in the scenario-based planning, you ask what if about the future. What if we do this? What if we do that? What's going to be the consequences? Here I use the a quote from the UK universities where they have used the scenario-based planning to predict the future and plan for the way they go uh, for. So scenario-based planning is really something that is there uh, and it is used in different areas, not only in technology, but in different areas. And it gives you uh, improved planning. It gives you um, uh, lots of uh, a challenge mindsets, uh, resource conflicts, and so on, and it brings everyone into the picture uh, at the same time. So as I said, Gardner has a very nice approach to that, very logical, very systematic, very simple as well. Uh, it focuses on the core value of the universities, with, which, which is education. The only drawback that I can say uh, about it, uh, and especially that you are talking always about research in this meeting, is that it doesn't take into consideration research, and that's something that one has to maybe uh, add to it. So uh, uh, 
one of the very uh, nice implementation of Gartner methodology was at Butler University and the report, their strategic uh, IT plan is available on the internet. You can look at it and you can see how they have used Gartner scenario storytelling plan to uh, a plan for IT. So the first thing you do is to look at the uh, Gartner uh, hype for education. I am very well sure that many of you knows about it, so I'm not going to spend time on it. But uh, this, is the, this is the hype uh, for 2013, and it shows you all of the emerging technologies in education and how the expectations goes high at the beginning and then they go down uh, when they face the reality. One minute. One minute left. Yes. Sure? Yeah. Okay. You, you have, your pickup is waiting for you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Are you sure of one minute? Yeah, yeah. Okay. One minute. Okay. Your pickup is waiting outside. So, uh, once you put in mind these uh, challenging technologies, uh, you look at the business model of the universities. And that is a plot into two axes. One is the scale of acceptance of students and the quality uh, judgment. Do you, do you judge on quality based on the institution value or based on the personal effort of the individual? And then you come up with a model. Now, it is really very uh, uh, difficult to make it in, in a minute, but it, it shows you where are the four basic types of universities. One is everybody's university where the quality is perceived collectively by the community and the scale of accept acceptance is very high, as opposed to a, a universities which has very uh, exclusive, very limited selection of students, but the quality and is judged by the individual themselves as well. And that, when you see, uh, when you look at this, is about 80% of the universities are really in, the, in this uh, uh, quarter. Now, this quarter has a different needs than the other quarters. Each quarter of those has really different needs. And uh, if we immediately block, uh, block the uh, technologies used in each quarter, you immediately find out that universities that adopt the public, uh, the everybody's model, have uh, different IT needs than others. Like, for example, adaptive learning that uh, Michael was talking about, analytics, mobile learning, and so on as opposed to the other universities in the uh, different quarters. Now, the second way, the second step in making the scenario works for you in the IT, I'm going to run immediately to the next slide, is to look at how IT can achieve the objectives of the, of the institutions. And that is on two axes. One is the improving the efficiency of the institution. I will finish here. Improving the efficiency of the institution and improving the productivity of the individuals. And you can immediately know that the middle side is the role of the IT. But where do you think the role of the uh, um, managers of the universities it is here? So once you do this, you plot the technologies, and you can immediately now set the priorities that you have to take in the universities according to the quarter, the quarter that you have. I think I will stop here because you cannot. Uh, yeah. I, 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 uh, your driver is waiting for you to pick you to the airport. You have I will, a flight I will, at six. Thank you very much. Well, this I, is the message that I got from outside. Yeah, I, thank you very much. I, I'll appreciate uh, the, the presentation is there, and we certainly uh, think that Gartner uh, model is very helpful to universities, and we can certainly talk to each of you in the university about how we can implement this with you. Thank you very much. Uh, indeed. Uh, thank you very much. We have a trophy from Azrin, uh, appreciation for Nasij, because you have a flight to catch, and, and we'll give it before that. the... <laughs> That's because uh, they are our gold sponsor, and he will not be waiting until the closing, where we will send our appreciation to all sponsors and partners. Uh, partners. So I have the pleasure to give you this shield. Thank you for your generous sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mohammed. Sorry for the interruption. Thank you very much. Yeah.